we are set to go racing. British Touring Car Championship is go. That's Dan Lloyd. That's Dan Lloyd in turn. And oh. that's Colin Turkington that's arrived on the scene as well. Welcome to Croft. Dan Lloyd takes the checkered flag to win. Talk about Dan's adventures in Wonderland. I'm an emotional wreck. BTCC can take it away, but it can also give it. It is a second win of the day for Dan Lloyd. What a fantastic day. What a statement that is. The amazing Dan Lloyd. Dan Lloyd was the story at Croft, but Tom Ingram went into the month-long summer break as championship leader. Three wins and three podiums so far. And that gives him a narrow three-point lead over the early championship pace setter Josh Cook. But look at the talent right behind. Colin Turkington and Ash Sutton have seven titles between them, although Sutton, the defending champion, has yet to taste a victory this season. Jake Hill has work to do to stay in touch, as do the rest of the top eight, completed by Rory Butcher and Gordon Shedden, the home favourites at Knock Hill, and also the battling Dan Lloyd, completing the top eight. This is how they stand in the Teams and Manufacturers Championships. BMW leading Hyundai in the Manufacturers with Ford in third, but Tom Ingram's Accelerate lineup well clear in the Teams. It's BTC racing all the way among the independents. They lead Sicily Motorsport by 29 points, and Josh Cook has a big lead over Adam Morgan in the independent drivers. And in the Jack Sears Trophy for drivers who started the season without a podium finish, it's Bobby Thompson who goes into the second half of the season with a decent lead over George Gamble. 10 weekends and 30 races make up the touring car season, so it's weekend number six and rounds 16, 17 and 18 today, and there's no better place than Knock Hill to resume the championship battle. It's only 1.27 miles long, we're about 20 miles north of Edinburgh, but it is so demanding, as you will see when the action gets underway in just a few minutes' time. It is a good getaway for Jake Hill, who scampers away towards Duffer's Dip, and uh, Ash Sutton really only given the option to squeeze in between him and Colin Turkington. Can Ash Sutton break later than the BMW? They go into Duffer's Dip, up onto two wheels, and he is in the lead. Ash Sutton in the Napa, Ford Focus, leading on lap two. Off the road is Jade Edwards. Oh, another off there, that's Jason Plato. Now he's through, he's got cleanly in front this time. A great run out of the heavy, but Sutton's going to fight back into McIntyre's. He's going to get squeezed onto the grass. He's back in front. This is fantastic, classic touring car racing. And this time, Jake Hill cleanly up the inside. Will he be able to hold it tight enough through Duffers to not let um, Ash Sutton get back up the inside of him? He's done a nice clean run. Sutton's looking for that opportunity again. Jake Hill closes it off. I think he's now done it. So, oh, and a big spin for Creasy. This is a win again for Jake Hill. But it is a good getaway for the second time today for Jake Hill. Three abreast further back and one car, two cars off into the gravel. One of the uh, motor base boards, I think, going Absolutely. off there. Now, and for the race lead, here comes Ash Sutton from a long way back and gets it at Clark. Well, must have been a mistake from Jake Hill at the chicane. Here comes Gordon Shedden to his outside as they head through his slots and into the chicane. Now, can the Honda take try the outside inside trick? BMW is always good off the corner. Here comes George. He hasn't quite secured it. Bit of a lock up there from the car dogs car, but he's through. Is he through though? No, no, he's not. not. No, <laughs> I thought there'd be a comeback. Dexter Patterson on the inside of Aaron Taylor smeared, but there was contact at the hairpin. Through there was uh, Jake Hill, uh, uh, the same mistake he made earlier. Oh, he's gone wide, he's gone wide in turn one. Is Jake Hill up the inside? He is. The drive off the final corner for the BMW is going to be interesting because he's virtually in the pit lane. It's Jake Hill and there was a touch as well. Across the line, Sutton gets it. George Gamble, the first time he started from pole position. That is a good getaway. It really hooks up nicely. There's contact. And Gordon Shedden and Ingram go towards the scenery. Masses of mass. Oh, and up on two wheels there. I think briefly with Dan Kamich as well. Jake Hill then is the back of the Rocket BMW stepped away. He gathered it up, but Ash Sutton was ready to pass. He must attack and have a go. Can he get around the outside of the head? He's, oh, look, Turkey took back down to him. Turkey took completely breaks early. He thought, I am not having any part of this. Right, they're side by side. Hill has more momentum. He's going to take the place. And it'll be a first ever victory for 
George Gamble across the line in the car gods by Sicily Motorsport Machine.